Yo, what's going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 20 video. In this one, we're going to be doing a debut for the new 99 overall future stars, Luis Robert from the Chicago White Sox. He is from the new beach ball packs that just came out, which is super cool. At a glance, I think this card looks really, really good. Potentially a top 10 outfielder in the game, depending on how much you value defense. Personally, I value defense a ton in the outfield, so I'm a big fan of how this card looks. Obviously, you don't use a card like this for the offense, but I think he'll be able to hold his own and do just fine. From using his prospect card earlier in the year, I think his swing is really good. Nice quick swing, good pull hitter. I think his attributes are good enough. I think he'll do fine at the plate. And defensively, he's going to be completely insane. Literally Buxton-like defense at any outfield position. I really like that he has 97 fielding, so you can play him in the corner outfield, still have diamond defense, and have 97 speed. A card like this really allows you to make like an insane defensive outfield because you can play this guy in the corners and he doesn't really lose much. And then you can play a more traditional center fielder that would lose their diamond shield. Someone like Eric Davis, Prestige Mickey Man, until MVP Mike Trout, guys like that, where if they played the corner outfield, they would go from diamond to gold. Now you can just play Luis Robert in the corner outfield with them and have just an insane defense out there. So I'm a really big fan. I'm excited to use this card. I think he looks amazing on paper. His prospect card was so good for me earlier in the year. For this debut, we're going to be doing the all-time White Sox, who they themselves have a pretty insane outfield. We're going to have prestige Mini Minoso in left field, obviously Luis Robert in center. We got the kid in right field. For the infield, 97 Canerco, Madrigal. Anderson, Moncada, and Grandal behind the plates. On the bench, we got Vaughn, Collins, Rollins, Alomar and Encarnacion. I'm kind of cheating with Rollins. That's why he's on the bench and not starting. That would be a little too OP. For pitchers, we're going to be starting Dane Dunning. Lucas Giolito is good to go as well. I think Dane is just a little bit better, but we may be using some of these guys out of the pen because as you can see, the all-time White Sox bullpen right now is not very good. We got Goose Gossage and we got Keith Folk pretty much. Aaron Bummer, really good silver card, but still a silver card at the end of the day. So should be pretty interesting. Hopefully a high scoring game. Also, this lineup only has one lefty, so... <laughs> We'll see how that goes. If we face a right-handed pitcher, it might be rough. Appreciate you guys watching. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new, let's hop right into some ranked seasons. And obviously, as you guys can tell, I don't have the new 99 Chris Sale yet, and I'll be doing a debut for him when I get him. We are on the road, taking on TC Daddy, and this is what I was afraid of, man. A God Squad lineup, and we're facing Kluber on the mound. I really didn't want to face a righty, especially Kluber, with one lefty in the lineup. It's going to be hard for us to score, I think. This is going to be going to be an interesting game. Robert stepping into the box for the first time. Welcome to the big leagues, man. Your first matchup is 99 Corey Kluber. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be fun. He threw us the slurve. One, two. We piece it up so well. And Mickey runs it down at the wall. Oh, that's so tough, dude. That ball was crushed. Another slur of 2-2. We were very late on that. What a play over there at third as well. Really bad swing by us. Technically a 97 Paul Canerco debut as well. So here we go. Works the four pitch walk to bring up the kid with the runner on. Ooh, he tried the sinker again. I was all over it, but grounded out to second. Rough first inning for us, man. We took some pretty good swings, two of them. Hopefully Dane Dunning can keep us in the game against this God Squad lineup. I'm not going to hold my hopes up. Cap takes his deep second pitch of the game. This is going real well. <laughs> Curveball gets Belly to roll it over to second. Magical and diamond defense. Easy play. This guy is not fooled by Dane Dunning whatsoever. <laughs> Mickey to left. Mini can't rob him. The Mickey Mini interaction does not go our way. Two to nothing already, man. Walker up the middle. Base hit. <laughs> <laughs> Dane Dunning is not the truth. This guy's hitting 400 with like everyone. This might be a long game for us. Banks up the middle. Another base hit. Two on, one out. We have Babe swinging off the plate. Lazy fly out. He's not going to tag with two outs, which is very smart. Sinker on the hands. Madrigal's going to make the play. We get out of it, only allowing two. Let's go hit. Good slurve again, 3-2, but we hit it perfect, perfect up the middle for a nice little single there for Mini. Great start to the second. Now let's see if we can use our speed. This White Sox lineup does have a ton of speed. I might try to take off second pitch here, see if he's paying attention. He's not. We're going. Cutter away. Can we beat the Diamond Shield at catcher? We are in there. Good stuff. Try to up and into Magical. We just poke it into left field. Another perfect, perfect. He threw to first base, what? <laughs> Taking off with Madrigal now, again trying to use our speed. He's in there as well, second and third, nobody out. 
Ground out to third. Will he come home with it? He did not. He took the out. Good play. Bad swing by us. Missed opportunity. Great cutter, bro. That's an insane pitch. We really blew it this inning, man. Second and third, nobody out. We're only going to score one unless Dane Dunning can come through with his bat. Dunning gives it a pretty good ride to center, but, man, we blew it there. We're going to have to be better than that. Cano popping out. Good start. We take those. Dude, Grandall is so slow. <laughs> Yasmani Grandall, where the easy looks hard. I think I literally could have ran to that foul ball faster. But you know what? Maybe he'll hit a dinger later. Kluber striking out. Easy peasy. Cap giving it another ride. <laughs> wow. He almost just went back to back with his cap and two at bats. Great play out there by Robert, obviously making it look easy running that down. Robert with his second AB gave it an absolute ride to dead center his first time. Nothing we can really do about it. We did work Kluber for 41 pitches through two. If we can keep this up, maybe he's out of the game. Another slurve and a two strike count and Robert got robbed again. This is ridiculous. <laughs> He's taken two great swings and has just gotten absolutely robbed twice. I am sad. Moncada to dead center. That's an out as well, dude. I feel like I'm really crushing the ball here. Slurve again in a two-strike count. We're going to poke that up the middle for Polly K. Griffey up again with the runner on. Went sinker first pitch. I swung first pitch and got a lucky single. Two men on for Prestige Minoso. We have to put one in the gap here, man. I mean, at some point, you gotta throw something other than a slur with two strikes, man. This is way too predictable. We take advantage. Prestige Minoso with the moonshot. We're up 4-2 out of nowhere. Kluber at 58 pitches after this one. This is the Seabrev formula right here. Madrigal the other way. Looks like he's gonna run that down out there, though. Pretty good cut, though, by Nick. Good inning from us. We came through, two out hitting. Rallied a bit, took the lead. That's not how we maintain the lead, dude. That was the scariest swing of all time. <laughs> Dane, you must pitch better. This is awful. Hung that slider. Mickey took advantage. It's 4-3. to three. It's just so hard to pitch to a lineup like this with a 91 overall at this point in the year, man. This is walking on eggshells with every single pitch that I throw. Beautiful up and in change up caught him looking. That's a gorgeous pitch. Slider running away from Ernie. Gets him swinging. We get out of that inning with just the solo shot. Sinker inside to Anderson. Jammed us like crazy. We still had it says good, but we were really late. Grand all to first. Easy play, but a pretty decent swing. Looks like we're going to get nothing going this inning. Dane Dunning pops out. Curveball to Ruth. He didn't miss it. That's going to get down past Griffey. I kind of wish we had Robert in right there. <laughs> he would have made that play. You can't have him everywhere. Change up low to Posey, which he hits to dead center. He's not sending the guy home on Robert's arm. Probably a good call. We are in some trouble here, but if we can turn a double play, we can only give up the one run, and he just chops it right by us at second base. That is tough. Four to four, still nobody out. He's bunting. Can we turn two here? Moncada to Kluber. He didn't steal bunt. That's the risk you take. That's absolutely massive for us. Cap down the line. Nice play by Pauly K. How did we survive that only giving up one? <laughs> we take that all day. Luis Robert at bat number two. Two absolute rockets so far. Can he win over the BABIP gods for one at bat? Nasty sinker on the hands 2 That was just a great sequence by him. That wasn't the card's fault at all. Moncada got the cutter. Low and in and he hits it out. Ship it special. We take the lead right back. This is going to be a slugfest all the way to the end. Another slurve with two strikes. We went down and got it again. Deja vu from the first at bat of the game. Dude, <laughs> I've crushed every slurve, man. Cutter tried to backdoor it and missed his spot, but I swung just under it. That's going to end it for the fifth. Ground out to short. Tim Anderson is very scary at short. <laughs> I think that was the smallest green zone for button accuracy for a routine play that I've ever seen. Please never hit it to shortstop ever again. Mantle pops out on a hung changeup. We caught a huge break there. By the way, I told you not to hit it to shortstop, bro. Walker pops out as well. Got him off balance that inning. Dane kind of holding his own out of nowhere. 
Cutter, low and away. Mini hits it well. Is Robbie going to get him? Robbie got him. Low and away. I have taken good swing after good swing, man. He just keeps placing it there, and I can't get it to fall. Ooh, swung through a lower slurve that time. Good pitch from him. He hasn't gone to that for a long time. Anderson, 3-2, pokes the change up to right. I might be out at first if he's covering. Thank goodness he was not. So that brings up the eight hole. What are we going to do with our bullpen? Do we bring a starter out of the pen? I think we have to. We're warming up our secret weapon, Michael Kopech, should the pitcher spot get up here. Yaz to left side, lines out to third. Oh, perfect, perfect, man. Banks gets a sinker in on the hands and pokes it to center field. I have a feeling that line out and how this inning is going to unfold is going to be not good for us. <laughs> That line out was rough, and that hit is probably bad news. Griffey, please make this play. He did not make the play. I told you guys, bad news bears right now. Posey rips the sinker to left. Base is loaded. Nobody out. And I really have no one to go to in the bullpen, man. I don't want to use a starter. We need a double play in the absolute worst way here. This is the biggest at bat of the game so far. He swung 3-1 and rips the sinker to right. Tie game. Still nobody out. Yelich off the bench. He's going for the throat. We got to go to Aaron Bummer here, man. We got to We got to try to make something happen. Dane is just going to get worse and worse as this inning goes on. Counters with George Springer. <laughs> this is like that meme. Chuckles, I'm in danger. This is how I feel right now. Springer tanks that to left. That could have been much worse than it was. Can we get the relay and the guy out at home? We got a perfect throw from Anderson, but he jumped to catch the ball. Unfortunately, it's 6-5 to five opponent. Cap to right field. Griffey's going to get this one, I believe. Nice. Wish I would have gone to the pen a little bit earlier, man. Should have given Aaron Bomber more credit. Belly walks. Base is loaded for Mantle. <laughs> this cannot be good. Tried the backdoor cutter and he crushed it. Thankfully, Minnie's got the defense. How do we keep surviving these crazy innings, man? This is a winnable game, dude. We gotta hit. Kanye out of the pen. We're gonna go with Edwin off the bench. A home run ties the game. I don't really want to use Zach Collins in case I need to pinch run for Yasmani later. Oh, just missed that, bro. Oh, we just missed it. Robert 3-2 gets it right down the middle and hits it oppo to tie the game in the seventh. He should have had another one of those earlier, dude. So clutch. Moncada got the curve and swung just a little under it. I was all amped up after that home run. Canerco got his own off speed and hits the no doubter to left. This is the most back and forth game ever. We take the lead on another bomb. Griffey to right, back to back. Three solo shots in the inning. Minoso to right, I just got under it. Is it gonna carry? It did, another ship it special. Minoso's taking over this game, that's his third hit. We went back to back to back and hit four solo shots in this inning off Gagne. Magical with a lazy ground out to second, but I do not care. What a massive inning for us. He's got a bunch of good lefties. But we're going to Jace Fry. 68 overall. Just for three batters, then we'll go to Goose. Jace Fry gets Larry Walker swinging. Unbelievable. Right down the middle of the banks. That's more like it, Jace. <laughs> And Babe crushes that too. This is Robert's time to shine, man. Make this play. What a play, dude. I don't like that animation. I wish he would have ran faster, but we take those. Canely coming out of the pen to face Posey. I'm happy getting two out of three outs with a bronze lefty. One of them being Babe Ruth. Can Canely hold this lead here? I threw another fastball down the middle, bro. I have to stop doing that, man. Tying run's going to come to the plate in the form of Robinson Cano. Hung that slider and he crushed it to first base. Look at Paul Canerco with the defense. We survive again. Going with Hoffman now for the eighth after we crushed Gagne. Nice front door sinker. Did we get lucky? Oh, that was a manual slide by him. Great play, dude. He's robbed me so many times. Yasmani to right. Did he get it all? 
Did he get it all? Another solo shot. We have 10 runs with the White Sox. Bringing Andrew Vaughn off the bench. Again, saving Zach Collins in case we need to do a substitution later. Vaughn got the fastball low and in, and he hit that one out to dead center. How many solo shots are we going to hit, bro? Robert, in his fifth at bat, got just under the cutter, man. He literally could have gone like four for five in this game. Moncada grounds out to short, but another good inning for us. Will the four runs hold up? Going to Goose Gossage for the eighth. We want Folk for the ninth, so this is the scariest inning. I really don't like this Gossage card at all. He's bringing Jacoby off the bench to pinch hit. If we can get outs with Jace Fry, we can get outs with Goose Gossage. Come on, baby. Threw another fastball middle middle, and he popped it up. Huge break again. It's the second time he's missed that. Trying to drop the slurve on him high, and he just crushed it. Good swing, bro. His cap is insane. A 14 pitch at bat for Belly finally ends in a flyout. Gossage is already in the yellow because we just had a 14 pitch at bat. That was so terrifying. Mantle the other way in the gap. That's at least two. Things are getting sweaty. We just need one more out to get out of this. He's actually going to third with two outs. And he got in there. Unbelievable. Walker swinging early and drives in the run. And that's going to bring up the tying run to the plate. We're going to Keith Folk early in the eighth. Tying run at the plate. We need this out. He's going to have to get us four outs for this save. And first pitch swing in his banks. Who swings late and pokes it through, man. This is scary. I'm literally facing Babe Ruth as the go-ahead run in the bottom of the eighth right now. I threw that sinker middle, middle, and he got under it. Robert making it look easy in center. This game is insane. He's going to Zach Britton out of the pen for the ninth. Canerco got the slider. Another solo shot. That's Pauly K's second bomb. Get the momentum right back. It's 12 to 9. Riffy up the middle, that's going to get through. Nobody out still. This is a good start, man. Minoso in the gap. This guy has been unbelievable in this episode. We can't push for three, but we are going to get the run home. That's a little sad we couldn't push for three there. Magical the other way. Another perfect, perfect. We can't test Walker, but we do have first and third. You know we're looking to steal with Nick as well. Taking off first pitch. We're there all day. All day, second and third, nobody out. We blew this earlier. Britain done without recording and out. Hinky in to try to slow the damage. Fork ball low, another perfect, perfect. And we're running all the way home with 98 speed. It is 15 to nine. We've scored four in the ninth and there's still nobody out. Grand doll up the middle. Mickey gets there. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to fall too. We are not pinch hitting for Folk. Not with a six run lead. He's our guy. Taking off to steal again. This time with Tim Anderson. We are running this man's life away. We're safe yet again. Folk strikes out. <laughs> Luis Robert, sixth at bat. Can he make it a 333 average and make this game 17 to 9 right here? He crushes it to center, but unfortunately, it's right at Mickey. Luis Robert with literally the most unlucky game I've ever seen. <laughs> Six run lead now for Folk. We need three outs, and there's one of them. My opponent is flustered. We just kept our foot on the gas the entire last third of the game. He could not keep up with our offense. Eight runs in the last three innings we've scored. Cano strikes out on the four-seamer above the zone. Two down. Last chance for him is Mike Trout. And Trout's going to chop it to short for the easy play. The Chicago White Sox score 15 and run away with it in the ninth. Mini Minoso, four for five with two home runs and a double, five RBIs. Paul Canerco, two home runs. Ken Griffey Jr., three for five with a home run. Unbelievable offensive performance. Aaron Bummer gets the win. Keith Folk with the four out save. Only gave up one hit. So that's going to wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Robert did go one for six, but he did hit a home run. I really wouldn't read too much into the one for six. Three of his outs were unlucky missiles right at people. Uh, you could tell just by how often I got good timing with this card that his swing is really smooth. So. Don't let the average fool you. We played a really good game with Robert. We obviously played a really good game all around. 
took home the W. If you guys could please subscribe to the channel if you are not, I would appreciate that a ton and drop a like down below. Let me know down in the comment section below if you're going to be picking up this Luis Robert card. Uh, I think I'm going to be keeping him around for a while. Playing around with him in the corner outfield should be a lot of fun. I love all you guys. Thanks for watching till the end. If you're still here, you're a real one. Appreciate you. See you next time. Peace.